Hello. How is everybody today? Boy, the storms were crazy, huh? Well, I've talked to most of the people that we know, you know, from the chat that live in Louisiana, Texas area, and praise God, all of them have made it through, some with some damage, a lot of people without power. So let's keep our prayers going for them, uh, that they're able to get, you know, back together, things get back in order. Everybody get your stuff out of your refrigerator and put it in a cooler or something so you don't lose it, those without power. I can't imagine the cost of food. Imagine losing all your food to no power. That's craziness. Anyway, what we used to do is we used to go to the store and buy ice, bags and bags of ice, and we filled the bathtub with it and put all of our stuff in the bathtub with the ice because we went 14 days without power, and that's what kept, you know, kept all of our stuff good. It took a long time before the ice melted, too. So when it started to get watery, we just, you know, open up the drain. Well, of course, you know, we cleaned out the bathtub, but anyway... I'm glad that that's over now. Thank God. We got a lot of rain, a lot of wind. Busted a window again. That's two windows broken out of the RV now. But we'll get back on track there. Today I wanted to do a video, a short video on peppermint. You see that? That's my peppermint plant. They like it out here. They're growing a lot better. These are the little ones that I had in the hothouse brought out here. Peppermint is great stuff. Um, let's see, anti-inflammatory, antibiotic, antiviral. Um, they're using it, they're testing it on anxiety patients, you know, uh, it seems to have some kind of benefit for anxiety. I know they use it for diabetic patients uh, because it, stop saying uh, D, <laughs> because it helps with blood sugar. My favorite thing is the peppermint tea because of stomach issues. Now you guys all know that I have stomach issues. Peppermint tea really calms down my stomach, and that's something it's known for. But if you drink too much of it, you can actually cause it. And don't drink peppermint tea if you have ulcers. Now, if you have, you know, indigestion or something like that, go ahead and drink the peppermint tea because it's really good for you. And like I said, it's an anti-inflammatory, so it does take that down. Another thing I like to do is I make, go ahead and make the tea, but I use it as a face splash at night before I go to bed. It's a cooling agent, and it works really well, and it brightens up your skin, believe it or not. Just go ahead and, and take some peppermint leaves, put them in some boiling water, boil them for about 10, 15 minutes. Let it, you know, cool off, strain it, and then go ahead and use it as like an astringent. It works really well. You can go ahead also and use it as a mouthwash. Same rule applies, just make yourself tea. The tea is abundant. The stronger you make it, the stronger it is, of course, but, and you don't want it real strong for your tea, and you don't want it real strong for your skin, but even the mint, you know, um, the mint itself is really good for your skin. It, uh, it lightens it up, it cools it off. Uh, I know that they've been using, they're doing a lot of testing right now for headaches and for memory issues. They're testing, uh, let's see, what else? I just got through reading two or three new studies they're doing with peppermint, or all the mint family actually. There's something called uh, rosmarinic acid that's in peppermint plants. And that is an anti-inflammatory and astringent. So check out your peppermint. Uh, even though it looks nice and it smells good and you can use it to get rid of all kinds of bugs and mice. If you have mice in your house, just make yourself an oil out of it. Mix it with the alcohol or oil. I suggest the oil because it lasts longer. The alcohol kind of dries out faster. But you can use the peppermint all around your property or inside your house. I just take little pieces of sponge fill them with the peppermint oil and stick them all over the place for the mice because there's a lot of mice out here. Of course, we have no cats. <laughs> anyway, so let's see what else. Use them on acne, make an astringent out of it, a little bit stronger astringent. You can use it for acne, especially if you have full body acne. Uh, take some before you go to bed because it's really good as far as calming your nerves. Peppermint has so many properties, so many good beneficial properties. But go ahead and try it out, guys. If you have any questions, you know, just let me know. But the smartest thing and the strongest thing I can tell you is for, um, is your stomach. And good for your, like I said, good for your teeth. Then you can also put it, make a tea and put it in a vaporizer, you know, or humidifier or something. And clear out your sinuses. Let's see, what else can you do with it? You can mix it with sugar, peppermint, uh, really strong peppermint 
break it down to the tea and add sugar to it so it's kind of thick and do a rub, a skin rub. That's really soothing. Oh boy, does that feel good. And then let's see what else. There's a lot of things. I mean, a lot of things. I can't think of all of them. I'm sure I'm going to forget quite a few of them. But anyway, try out your peppermint plants because they, they are really beneficial. And like I said, it tastes good. Some people like peppermint, some people don't. If you don't like peppermint, you know, that's fine. Um, you can try the skin stuff with it and not have to drink it. But it's actually been more beneficial if you use it on the skin and then go ahead and then drink it at the same time. You know, you get a double dose. Who would have thought that peppermint, something like peppermint, had all those medicinal benefits to it, right? Because peppermint you can get anywhere. I mean, it grows wild all over the place. You can always tell a peppermint plant from other plants or any kind of mint family because the stalk, you know, the stem right there is square. That's how you can tell the difference between, you know, what looks like peppermint and what doesn't. If you look at the stalk, it is actually square. You can roll it around your fingers and it has the sides. So, oops, sorry. <laughs> okay, so there you go. There's some information on peppermint. Ooh, you would not believe underneath here all the roots. There are, I mean, there's so many roots. This is going to be crazy next year or by the end. Yeah, probably by next year. This whole flower bed, if I leave it, like see those leaves right there and these right here, those are the ones that I pull off and I use for my tinctures. You know, they're still really strong. They're not big and huge. They're, they're really, if you take one and rub it together, that's something else you can do, too, is you can take a piece of that peppermint off and rub it together and soothe, you know, a bite or an itch. Very helpful. Very nice stuff. Okay, so there we go. Peppermint. Peppermint. Try it in your, mix it with clove and try it in your, for toothpaste. This stuff works really well. Take your baking soda, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of coconut oil, uh, some peppermint. You can either mash up the peppermint and put the oil from the peppermint mash in it or stick the peppermint actually in it. It's up to you. I would take it out because the green will stick to your teeth. And then go ahead and put a couple drops of peroxide in it. Uh, one or two drops of uh, clove oil and use that as toothpaste. Your breath is fresh. Your teeth are clean. It gets down into the nastiness and actually breaks up tartar. And then you use the tea tincture, or the tea afterwards, the peppermint tea afterward, as a mouth wash. You would not believe how nice your mouth will feel. <laughs> yep, that's it. I'm done. Hi, Mr. Tractor. I'm going inside. I have a lot of cleaning to do today. So, anyways, that's my uh, information on peppermint. I will talk to you guys later. I love you very much. You have a blessed day, and I will see you soon. Bye.